Hi everybody, welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to install rear diffuser fins from ACS Composite on a C7 Corvette. Hi, I'm Lily and you're watching the Corvette channel. Hi everybody, welcome to the channel. My name is Scott and today I'm going to be showing you how to install rear diffuser fins from ACS Composite on my C7 Corvette. Now, the model number for this is an ACS C7 Corvette rear diffuser fins, and this is the two per side version. The one per side will be basically the same installation. The template will be a little bit different because it will be a different placement, but the installation will be pretty much the same. So, the part number on this one is a 45 4 097 and I'm doing it in carbon flash. They also make it in just the uh, flat black also. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to jump into the video now and I'll be showing you how to cut the uh, cut the templates out, get them mounted on the car so we can get the uh, holes in the exact right spot so we don't drill the wrong holes in the wrong place. So sit back, watch, hopefully you enjoy the video. Thanks. So before I get started, I just wanted to point out the fact that I'm going to be doing this video with the car on the ground. We're not going to put it on a lift. Those of you who have watched some of my other videos of doing the aero kit or the mud flaps and that type of thing, I've always done it on a lift. This one here, I wanted to be able to show you that yes, some of these installations can be done on the ground um, and I should be able to still get good camera angles on it so you'll be able to see everything. So I'm going to be using my GoPro when it gets up into the tight areas there so you can see. But the majority of it is done right out here in front anyhow. Um, so it shouldn't be a hard thing. I'm going to try to give you multiple angles so you'll be able to see it. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and jump into the video now. Okay, so what we've got here is we've got our box that everything came in. Um, I did go ahead and pull the instruction sheet out just to make sure I knew what I was doing with this. And it's, uh, it's pretty simple. Um, so if you follow the instructions, you shouldn't have any issues. Um, it's a 12-step uh, procedure for both sides. So, um, but only a few pages, so not a, not a big deal. Um, when you open the package up, you're going to find inside they've got some, uh, some advertisement and literature here to show all the other parts that they have. Um, and then they have the templates. Now, what we have to do is we'll have to take this out there, we'll have to cut these with, a, with some scissors, um, or you can cut it with a razor knife, but the better the better you cut these out, the better you're going to get a better placement. So um, here in a minute, we'll, uh, we'll grab a pair of scissors and we'll cut these out. Um, and then the actual diffusers themselves, um, they're wrapped individually. That one almost fell out. Um, so they're, they're wrapped, so they're not going to get scratched unless you would drop them like I almost did. Um, so I'm not going to pull those out until I need them. Um, it comes with all of the mounting uh, hardware that you're going to need, some screws, uh, some, uh, some of the little clips that the screws go into. It's very looks like pretty much like regular General Motors uh, mounting clips. Um, and that's about it. So uh, we're going to we're going to need a couple different size uh, drill bits and I will uh, I'll be telling you what those are. Um, it's in the instructions also. So um, you, you just shouldn't have any issues here. So by putting this on the ground, we are going to be tight quartered laying down. Um, so I'm going to try to get the camera, uh, one of the GoPros, on a very low um, uh, tripod so it'll be able to see it. All right, so we've got we've unfolded our template. We've got a template here for the driver's side, and we've got a template over here on the same paper for the passenger side. And so all we're going to do is we're just going to cut, take our scissors, we're going to cut these templates out. Um, that way we'll have those ready to go. And then we'll, I'll show you how we go ahead and mount them onto the car and, and uh, get them set up so um, we get them in the exact right spot. So I'm just now going ahead and grab my scissors here and I'm just cutting them right on the line 
And again, the instructions will tell you exactly what to do. Um, and also, the templates themselves actually tell you how to cut it, where to cut it. Um, so there really is not any guesswork as far as this is concerned. You just want to make sure that you take your time and cut it. Okay, so I'm just going to continue to uh, cut the template out. So let me point something out here uh, as we're getting ready to do this. I've got the GoPro down here. I've got, uh, got this camera down low. I'm going to try to do this from the side, down over on this side here, so you guys can see. Um, but what we're doing here is that you have an arrow here that shows where the front of the car is supposed to be pointing, kind of the way this is at toward the front of the car. So the template's actually going to fit on like this. We're actually going to be going through these two holes right here with the 7 millimeter screws that are down below that I'm going to take off. And so I just wanted to point that out, that as this is sitting here, it almost fell over. As I'm sitting here like this and this wraps, you can see that it's pointing, this arrow is pointing down, saying the front of the car is, is that direction. So um, this is also a good opportunity uh, to wipe any, you're down here nice and low, it's a perfect opportunity to wipe off any dirt or debris that's down here on the bottom of the fascia. So, Hopefully you can see this. I'm gonna hopefully yeah, you can. Okay. So I'm trying to look into the camera at the same time. So like I said, these are two seven millimeter screws. Okay. And I have wiped everything down, but I'm still seeing a little bit of stuff coming out here. Again, just trying to make sure my head isn't in your way. Okay. I think the GoPro is getting it all from this side over here, so. So we are simply just taking, taking here and we're going to poke a hole right in the, right in here, right here, just like that. To screw this on. Like that. And do the hole over here. Now that we've got our screws in here in the bottom of the template and it's holding everything in place, I'm just going to straighten this out and we're going to bring it up like so. I'm just going to get it nice and smooth. So everything's line, lining up okay. Then we're just going to take some masking tape. And you can use whatever you'd like, but I use masking tape. We probably need another, probably another piece here. But you could use black tape or you know, duct tape. It doesn't really matter. Okay, so now we've got we've got all of our stuff. We've got our template on here, like so. Okay, so now we've got our holes. We've got one here, one here, 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 and here. And then I have my drill bits here. One is an eighth inch drill bit here, and the other one is a quarter inch. Okay. So we'll run the pilot holes through, and then we'll trace, we'll follow it behind. Now, or the quarter inch will go, we'll follow it. Now, it says in the instructions that you don't want to go more than about, I believe it's four millimeters into the hole. There is, um, there's part of the, uh, I believe it is the um, uh, cooling system that's back here behind this. I'm not exactly sure what it is, but there's a bunch of lines running to it. Um, and so you don't want to just go in there and just reef through um, and poke through. So you want to do this fairly, you know, fairly carefully and just a little bit and just only go through just far enough to be able to poke, poke a hole into the bumper. I want to point out something that you've got a total of four of these fins. Um, if you've got the four fin kit, I should say. Um, the passenger ones 
The passenger side are denoted by two, uh, see if I can get this close enough, you can see here, there's two holes right here on them. And that makes it easy for you to be able to tell that this is a passenger side one here. Um, the driver side only has one hole. So you've got two over here that have one hole and then you'll have two for the passenger side. Okay. And then, so what you want to do is you're going to want to drill using the quarter inch bit, or I should say one eighth inch bit first for the pilot hole. Not going any deeper than 10 millimeters, okay? Because there's a bunch of different components behind this bumper that you don't want to drill into. So, you know, what I, what I would do, I'll just drill nice and slow and it, I'm not going to go in 10 millimeters. It's just barely going to go through it. And then at that point, we're going to follow that with a quarter inch drill bit and we'll get all the six holes uh, done because it's three per, per fin and uh, we'll, we'll get that going and then at that point we can go ahead and start to mount all this stuff. We are now going to go ahead and we're going to use our, our pilot hole, which is an eighth inch drill bit. And you can see here how this is going to, how this is going to line up here. This is basically going to fit up just there like that. Okay, so we're going to drill our hole here. This is always the fun part, and I never like drilling holes into my car. It's just not the funnest thing in the world. As you can see right there, that went right through. See, like that. And here's another one. You don't have to put a lot of pressure in here. Just use a good drill bit, you'll be fine. like that. And there's crosshairs that's marked here on their template. So you get your drill bit right dead in the crosshairs and you'll be fine. template, drop it down, just like so. Now you can see your, see your holes. And at that point you can change your drill bit out. Just like so. Very, very thin, so it's not. It's like that. You want to make sure that you don't you know, scrape it up against the paint table, because that you can't fix without paint. Okay, so that is our, our six holes. And now at that point, we're just going to go ahead and we're going to take this, the template off. And now we get the template out of the way. And then what you want to do is you're going to want to just wipe everything off here, um, just to make sure that uh, you don't have any any mess that you're going to screw onto. So I'm just wiping this off now. I'll spray a little bit of spray on there. Just a little bit of water. Get everything off. Just like so. And then the only thing we have left to do is we still have to put the brackets themselves or the the uh, clips on to the diffusers. So we have this little package here. Okay, so we've got our our diffuser here, and we need to put these clips on to be able to screw into. So all we're going to do here is we're just going to let me set set these other two down here. I'm just going to go through these these little openings here, and we're going to press this on like so. Okay, and you just want to align them with your screwdriver 
a small screwdriver you can get it aligned and then that way you know that the, the screw is going to go into it because you don't want to fight this when you're under the car so we just need to get this up here just a little bit more just like so and then that way that way the screw will go right into it hopefully you can see that okay like that we're going to do the same thing on this one I'm just using a screwdriver here to or a nut driver to get it on where I'm not cutting my fingers and then I'll bring it over with my screwdriver just like so take another another screw here make sure that it's gonna line up looks like it does just fine we're gonna do one more and we're gonna do that right there looks like that one just slid right on Okay. All right. So that's what it looks like right there. If you can see, maybe a little bit better right there. So you're just going to repeat that for each one of the diffusers. And so um, I'm going to continue to do the other ones. And we'll just mount these on there. The next thing we have to do, hopefully I'm not totally in your guys' way here, um, is that we've got to put the screws into the holes so we can actually screw the, the uh, diffusers on. So I'm going to attempt to get the camera up here so you can see them. Let's see if I can get out of the way. So, do my acrobatics over here. Should be able to see them here. You can see the, the screw holes. There's one right there. A couple of all different ones. You can see them all in there. So this is a tight squeeze, right? Um, whether it would be on the on a lift or on the floor, this side's going to be pretty tight. The other side is actually pretty loose. There's a lot more room over there. So um, we're going to try to see if I can find some screws here, which I thought I had. And we'll yeah, there they are. So we're going to start putting those in. Okay. So there's one right there. Hopefully you can see that. There's another one up here. Again, very tight squeeze. hard to hold the camera where you can see it and, and go from there at the same time. Let's see, then there's one also that's up a little bit farther. It's up on the front, on the more of the back side. So you're going to have to feel for that. I'm not going to be able to show you that one with both hands, one holding the flashlight and one holding the GoPro. There's just no way. So I'm gonna have to, I'll have to reach up there and do that. So um, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna put these hole, the, the screws in the holes and then we'll come back to it. Just takes a little bit of patience. You gotta get the, all of the screws through the holes. So once you get the six screws pushed through the hole, then you can start to go ahead and, and put the, your, uh, your diffusers on. So again, you want to make sure that you've got your, your driver side ones going on to your driver side and passenger going on your passenger. So I'm going to go ahead and start on the bottom one here, which will be the easiest one to get started. We're going to see if I can get some light back here so I can see a little bit. that one started. And we'll be able to do this one. And I 
again, this is, like I said, it's totally doable. It's not, not impossible to do. It's just going to take a little bit of patience. So if you are not the type of person that has a lot of patience, then maybe this isn't the job for you. Um, but otherwise, I mean, I'm just screwing this thing, all these in by hand. Um, so they're going on pretty easy. that one's on. I just have to tighten it all up. Might as well go ahead and get the other one started. So we've got the inner diffuser on. We've got to get the outer one on. Now we can get to these two lower screws, but we can't get to this one just by reaching up from above or from below in the back here. So what I did is I pulled the three screws here, the three seven millimeter screws out of the bottom here, which allowed this to start to flex around and separate from the bumper or from the fender. So now what I can do is I can pull this down like so and I can reach up. And it's still tight, but I can reach up there and I can touch this now. So at this point, I'll be able to take this. And it, if you have somebody to help you with this, it's going to be much easier to do it. But you can get it done yourself. So I'm just lining these up. Get that started. And I can start the other two at the same time. And you're just going to have to get your arm in there and just be patient. And you'll be able to get it. It's just a little tight cord there. Okay, so. We've got the screws hand, just hand started. So now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna use a seven millimeter socket. Again, what I did here is I just pulled the three bottom screws out of the bottom corner here so I could pull this back. Because like I said, there's a, there's a pump that sits right behind here. There's just no clearance from being able to get over here. Now the passenger side doesn't have that. So um, I just wanted to be able to point this out that this side is going to be kind of more of a more of a bear, but it, knowing that knowing full well that you can pull this loose and it it came right loose once I pulled the three screws out that you'll be able to get in here then and then you'll be able to get to these bolts and tight and tighten them up. But we're just now going to go ahead and we're going to put this back together. So we've got a few few screws that we've got to put back together on this one. We've got our three screws here. We're just going to push our bumper back in place. Like so. And these little guys go right back. Guys, hopefully you found this video helpful and informative. And if you did, please hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and hit that bell so you'll be notified of our next uploads. Guys, let me take a second to thank Jonathan over at ACS Composite. Without ACS, we wouldn't be able to bring you all of these videos that I've been able to bring you about all of the stuff that they have. So I just want to reach out, say thanks, appreciate it, and hopefully you know, they'll be able to sponsor us with more stuff down the line and um, uh, that way I can show it to you guys on the video and I've been able to show some of the people at uh, here locally at the car shows that, you know, this is just top quality stuff that I have on the car. It's all ACS stuff and uh, you're not going get, to get any better. So um, there will be a bunch more stuff that I plan on doing with the car from ACS. So stay tuned and uh, again, thanks for sponsoring us. Guys, thanks for watching and you have a great night.